Hi, this is Sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing this evening? Hate to say this, but I'm gonna I'm doing a driving while black part three. Yes, I got stopped by the police again. And this time I'm really pissed. Um try to do this video without cussing. Because I'm pissed. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pissed. But I'm a Christian and I, I, just, I don't cuss and use foul language on here. But I'm pissed. I'm going to try to watch my language as much as I can. They about to make me lose my religion. Because <laughs> I'm really pissed. I'm really upset. Now, here's what happened. I'm, I've been in my house literally all day today. I've been in my house all day. Today is Saturday. I've been in my house all day. Literally. All day long. Because, um, you know, it's pretty hot outside. Um, so I've been trying to keep cool and everything. And I woke up. My legs was hurting me a little bit today. So I'm just trying to chill out and everything like that. Uh, I was a little tired from the week you know working throughout the week and just a little tired so I got up you know put some clothes in the washer you know ate a little something watched a little TV and around 2 o'clock I decided to lay down and take a nap and I lay down and I took a nap woke up about 5 o'clock now I said well I wanted to go to the store to the farm market and grab some cherries so I said I want, I want to go to the farm market and grab some cherries now that it's a little cooled down you know I'm going to go to the farm market and grab some cherries. Uh, my son was due to get off work at 7. And I said, well, I'm going to order a pizza because it's too hot to cook. So, I get to my car about 6.30 p.m. And as soon as I pull out the driveway, I get ready, now I'm getting ready to pull out the driveway. I look to my left. There's two cop cars at my neighbor's house. And I'm like, well, hmm, what's going on there? So I proceed to pull to the right. I pull off to the right. Proceed to start driving. All of a sudden, I look at my rearview mirror. Here comes the police car. I'm like, uh-uh. I said, no. I said, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. But I was like, I, I thought that was suspicious. All of a sudden, they start pulling off as soon as I pulled off. I get to around the corner. You know, I got I turn the corner I get around the corner gets down the street a little ways you no know, stop at the stoplight went across the stoplight as soon as I did that they flicked me at this point I'm beyond frustrated I'm like seriously now the first time they stopped me that was understandable because I only have one headlight I understand that it was nighttime and only have one headlight that time I can understand why the police stopped me understandable totally understandable this time there was absolutely no reason for the cops to stop me so a cop walks up to my car he's a black guy and I said why did you stop me you know I still try to remain calm you know still try to keep my composure I said why did you stop me my my um my um my mirror, my, my mirror on my driver's side is a little cracked. Well, well, for one thing, you got like a cracked mirror. I said, I said, you seen that? Pulling out of my driveway, you seen that? And I'm looking at him like, yeah, right. That's not why you stopped me. And I said, well, why did you stop me? He, I, I said, he said, well, you got a cracked light for one, or, or mirror for one. I said, I said, you noticed that the way back there pulling out my driveway? And I'm looking at him like, I, yeah, right, seriously? He said, well, I notice it now. And I looked at him like, I said, why are you stopping me? And he said, well, there was a robbery next door. Um, the people got their computer stolen and they tracked it somewhere around your house. Now, mind you, my 16-year-old son was at work because he's got a job working at Mickey D's. He's at work. Now, the, now check this out. The night before... He stayed over my grown son's house. He stayed over to my grown son's apartment the night before. So he was he hadn't been here all night. He hadn't been at my house all night, all day. 
because he he said, "Well, mom, you know, um, 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 my brother, um, um, his his brother is going to give him a ride to work." You know, the next day, so he decided to stay over there overnight, so he will already be there. So I told the cop, you know, and he said, he said, well, they had a computer um, stolen and tracked. I guess they got some kind of tracking device on their computer, and so they they tracked it around your house. And I'm like, I said, I've been in, officer. I've been in my house all day. I said, I don't, I don't know anything about a stolen computer. I said, I've literally been in my house all day. I said I don't I don't know anything about a computer you know I said I took a nap I woke up you know I said now I'm going to the store I said I don't know anything about a stolen computer and he's like well um, do you have and then they asked me um, did I do I do I have a teenage son or, or, or I said yeah I, I do I said he's 16 how old is he 16 asked me what his name was and all that and I said he's at work has he been home at all today? I said, no, he hasn't. I said, he was at his brother's house all night. He's been gone all night. I've been literally, I've been at home all day today. I'm just now coming out. Here they asking me all these questions, asking me 50 million questions, asking me all these freaking questions about where my son is at. I said, my son is at work right now. Well, what time he go in? I said, well, he went in at one o'clock. I mean, by that time, I, 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 I got to admit, I got an attitude. I'm, but I'm trying to keep calm. I'm trying to keep my cool because I don't want to get shot or arrested or well, you know how that goes. So the white guy, so he said, well, can I see your driver's registration and everything? Um, well, maybe. Um, um, so I gave him my, um, you know, like I told you guys from my first video. I keep everything up in my visor. I pull that my little folder, State Farm folder, with everything in it. And he said, "Well, could you take that stuff out?" This officer asked me to take the stuff out, and I took everything out, gave it to him, and the black guy went to the car to run my my plates and all that kind of stuff. You know how they do. Then the, while he's doing that, and I'm sitting here waiting, I'm like, "It's taking a long time." I'm like, "Okay, I know I ain't got no warrants or nothing." I said, "So why is it taking so long?" Then the, in the meantime, the white guy walks up to my car and goes just grilling me and asking me all these questions about my son. And I'm like, well, I, you know, he's asking me about my son. And I told him, I said, I've been in my house all day. And he was like, is it okay if we search your house? And I was like, um, no, not unless you have a search warrant. And um, he was like, well, um, you know, because they tracked it around your house. I said, you're more than welcome to search because I have woods around my house. I said, you're more than welcome to search the woods around my house. I said, but no, um, you can't go in my house without a search warrant. See, I know my rights. I know my rights. They got to have a search warrant. I, I know my rights. So, he was like, well, he'll, he'll be in a few minutes, you know. he's you know He'll be here back in a few minutes. And he was like asking me all these questions about my son and all that kind of stuff. And I said, then he gave me something. He asked, got on his little thing and asked um, about asked me I can't remember the guy's name now he asked me uh, um, did I know somebody um, he said have you had anybody at your house today I said no I haven't I said I haven't had anybody at my house I said I've been in my house all day nobody's been at my house and so he gave me this name I can't remember what the name was and I said no I don't know him so I, by that time I'm really pissed because I feel like they're profiling me you're accusing me of stealing something um, and um, you know my son was like my mom they probably the neighbors probably said because I he's walked past their house so the my son probably said well mom they probably told him that um, yeah because they come out and ask me do you have a, a teenage son so they knew I had a teenage son so apparently my neighbors happen to be white yes they're white and um, yeah they probably told them that my son might have stole their computer Okay, by that time, I'm pissed. I feel like I'm being profiled. You're profiling me. You're accusing me of doing something. I said, I've been sitting in my house. And the thing is, is what gets me is, this is what gets me. I got my house robbed a few years ago. And they didn't do a full-scale investigation. They called themselves coming over here taking a little funky fingerprints. And that was it. Nothing else was said about it. 
they didn't do a full scale investigation. My neighbor back in November got robbed in the, in the morning time. And I, I feel bad because I happened to be home when it happened. But I didn't hear anything. The cops didn't even come knocking on my door. She's black. My neighbor across the street got robbed. Nobody come knocking on my door asking to search my house. Now all of a sudden these white people get robbed. Now all of a sudden they want to search everybody's house. I get home, they're across the street with, at the, I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't know what was going on over there. Now all of a sudden, you know, because these are white people, you want to do a full scale investigation. But when I got robbed, you got mighty funny, you guys didn't do a full scale investigation. When I got my house robbed a few years ago, not trying to be rude, but I am the I'm pissed right about now. So, you know, these cops had me sitting here 15, I don't know, 10, 15, it seemed like forever I was sitting there with my hands on the steering wheel, trying not to make any rash movements or anything like that. But I'm pissed. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I feel like I've been, I was being profiled. You know, they had absolutely no reason to stop me. And I think I said, well, if I stayed in my house, they probably would eventually got around to knocking on my door. And then they, then, and then he was like, well, he gave me my information back, and he was like, well, um, you know, well, the, the 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 computer was tracked near your house. I said, well, I don't know anything about a computer. I said, I've been sitting in the house all day, literally. I said, my son is at work. You were he sure he, he hasn't been home today? I said no, he hasn't. I said he was at his brother's house, and and then when he went to work from his brother's house, I've been literally sitting home all day. I didn't even hear no police sirens or anything. I'm totally in my house, and he was like, "Well, you know, you don't want to." He said, "Cause your neighbors already consented to a search." I said, "Which I didn't. Which I happened to think that that wasn't true." I don't believe that for one minute. I said, well, you can't search my house unless you have a search. I said, don't you have to have a search warrant? He was like, either that or your consent. I said, well, you're going to need a search warrant to search my house. You don't get to, you don't just get to walk through my house because of whatever. You don't just get to walk through my house because somebody says, some white people say that uh, they suggest that these people broke in their house and stole their stuff without any proof whatsoever okay no proof whatsoever you check my you ran my place and everything I'm a law-abiding citizen so I ain't got no records other than probably a, a speeding tip a few years back but other than that I'm a law-abiding citizen but we all know we all know that when you're black you're guilty until proven innocent we all know that so I'm just beyond pissed. Now the first time I can understand why they stopped me because of my headlight. And it was nighttime. I get it. This time they absolutely had no reason at all to stop me. Except you going by what the neighbors say. You know. So, you know, I told them. I mean, for, to me, for Christ's sake, do I look like somebody that's a break in someone's house? I guess they do think I look like somebody because I'm black. But this is just utterly ridiculous. I am beyond pissed. You know. And so I, I just told them, I said, you know, um, you know, I'm not going to let no cops run up in my house and you don't have no search warrant. You don't have no reason to be searching my house. Well, and then, he, and then he has the audacity. Check this out. He has the audacity to tell me, well, if, you know, if, if we found out, if we find out that you, um, you know, if, if it, you got the property, then, you know, you can go, to, you'll be arrested. I said, seriously? I said, officer, I've been in my house all day. I mean, like, I wanted to say, what part of that don't you understand? I've been in my house all day. Well, you know, you know, the computer was tracked by your house and all that stuff. I said, I have my things in the house. I have my stuff in my house. You're not going to find anybody else's stuff in my house. I have my stuff in my Because, you know, if, you, if we find it, you know. No, it ain't no if you find nothing. My son's at work. He had been home all night. 
I've been in my house all day. Ain't nobody ran up in your nobody the neighbor's house and stole nothing. I told him you're more than welcome to search the area around my house, but you can't search my in my house without a search warrant. They don't have the right to come up in my house because they suspect that I stole a computer. Then I know I've been sitting up in here all day. This is utterly ridiculous. And then he has the audacity um, to say, it, "Well, if you're if well if you're confident, you know." What do you mean if I'm confident? It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing, Bobby. It ain't nothing to be confident about. I was sitting in my house all day after thinking about that. All later, you know, sometimes you think about stuff later after the fact. I'm like, he talking about if you confident. What the heck is there to be confident about? I was sitting in my house all day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, as if as if as if he don't believe what I'm saying. As if he's suggesting that he don't believe nothing that's coming out of my mouth. Why? Because I'm black. I, 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 all of a sudden, I, I'm a robber now. I'm a thief now. I I, I steal now because I'm black. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. And then they said, the, 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 my son was like, well, mom, they probably, my neighbor, the, the, or the neighbors probably said that I, they probably suggested that I went up in their house because I've walked past their house. Wow. Now, you know, instantly I'm pissed. I mean, my son had to explain it two or three times. I'm so pissed. I can't even process what he's saying. He had to explain it to me two or three times for me to even process it. Because I'm just that pissed. I can't even hardly process what he's saying. He's like, Mom, they, that, that's why they asked you about your son. Because they, they probably told him that I was a suspect. Simply because, what, he's walking past their house? Wow. Now, mind you, I don't even know these people. I don't even know these people. Never met them before in my life. Even though they're my neighbors. Never met them because there's my house and then there's there's my side yard. I have a big yard. I have my house and there's a side yard and then there's woods. And then their house is after the woods. So I don't even, if sitting, I can sit on my porch and there's a little gap in the woods. And I can probably see their house with, from the gap. But that's it. I don't even know these people. Never met these people before in my life. And now I don't care to know them because now I think they're a bunch of racists. You have the audacity to accuse my son of stealing stuff out of your house? Seriously? You got the cops stopping me, which I could have gotten killed because the cops automatically assumed that I had something to do with the robbery. So I could have, they could have been, if they was racist cops, I could have been, I could have been killed. Just by the grace of God, they wasn't, they wasn't racist. Well, the guy, the first guy that stopped me would happen to be a black guy. But he a part of that system though. He's all a part of the system. He's in the system. I mean, they were all, I mean, they were, other than the fact that they were accusing me of something that I didn't do. I mean, they were, you know, they was nice. You know, they followed the proper procedure, other than the fact that they was accusing me of something that I didn't do. Well, I'm really upset. I'm pissed. I'm beyond pissed, people. You know. I mean, this is just ridiculous. You're going to go by the strip, and then when I got robbed, nobody did a full-scale investigation. My neighbors got robbed. They were black. See, it's okay for us to get robbed. Nothing is done about it. But then all of a sudden, these white people get robbed. You guys want to do a full-scale investigation. You want to comb the neighborhood all of a sudden. You want to accuse all the black people in the neighborhood of robbing their house. Seriously? Seriously? Wow. Really? You think you have the nerve to say, if I'm confident. What do you mean if I'm confident? I've been sitting in my house all day. I'm sorry people I'm pissed 
I just had to share that with you guys. I am really pissed. I'm beyond pissed. I just had to. I I, I still kept my cool. I, I was. I did have a little bit of attitude talking to them because I was pissed. But I still managed to keep my cool. I didn't yell or raise my voice. I didn't make any sudden sudden uh, sudden movements. I'm not stupid. But I wasn't about to let them come up in my house without a search warrant. That wasn't gonna happen. Just wanted to let you guys know what happened. Pray for me. I'm beyond pissed. This is Sweet June. Be careful out there, guys. This is Sweet June 2010.